the Netherlands, Spain, Sweden and the United States have all reported SARS-CoV-2 infections among farmed mink and have culled thousands of the animals as a result. Coronavirus vaccines for mink are currently being developed in the US to protect the animals and the mink farming industry. On the other hand, representatives of Humane Society International have argued that all the animals should be culled and the industry dissolved, both to prevent avoidable suffering of the mink and to lower the risk of future pandemic. It has been reported that more than 100 SARS-CoV-2 infected mink may have escaped from Danish fur farm, raising the risk that these escapees could spread the novel coronavirus to wild animals, creating a new reservoir for the virus. Every year, a few thousand mink escape, and this year, an estimated 5% of these escaped animals may have been infected with SARS-CoV-2. These mink may be spreading the coronavirus to wild animals, even as millions of mink still on farms are being culled to prevent spread of the virus. In general, minks are very solitary creatures, so the risk of them spreading the virus to other animals may be low. Susceptible animals such as free-roaming cats and members of the weasel family would be most likely to catch the virus by eating infected mink or coming into contact with their feces. Experts had doubt about this claim, noting there is not enough evidence that the mutated virus would be resistant to vaccines. In addition, the Danish government cannot legally order farmers to cull healthy animals. Another source reported, despite the questionable legality of the order, more than 10 million of Denmark's, roughly 17 million minks, have already been culled. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Stay safe and sane. Science will win.